If you're seeing me right now, then it means I have a message for you. So let's see what your message is today, okay, spirit team? Take over. Oh, what's going on? What does the person watching this need to know right now? Where's the energy at? Oh, okay. We've got the Knight of Cups. Oh, with the Two of Cups, baby. There is an offer. There's an emotional offer on the table. There is an emotional offer coming forward here. Right, I'm sensing that somebody here wants to come forward and express how they truly feel about you and about this connection that the two of you share. The two of cups can signify a soulmate connection. Yeah, I feel like this person really wants to come forward with some form of stable offer towards you. Tell me more. Mm, tell me more. Okay, a queen of pentacles in reverse with the nine of swords. Um, the thing is... You have really nurtured this connection for a long time, but I'm almost getting that you're at a stage now where you think, was this even worth it? Like, was this ever even worth it? You're very much so in your head about it um, and you're taking a more egotistical view on it right now because because you've not had the, the perceived re reward for it, you're now doubting it. Rather than just trusting the process, rather than just understanding that things will happen when they are supposed to happen, not when we want them to happen. So this is about perseverance, essentially. Are you going to persevere or are you you're going to give in to these negative thoughts that you are thinking? Are you going to give in to the negativity? You may have people around you that are saying to give up, to do this, to do that, but what is it that you want? Okay, stop listening to the devil on your shoulder, start listening to that angel, your intuition on this, because baby, you attract what you are. Remember that you are a very powerful creator, very powerful, and you create your own reality here. So, this is about you sitting back and attracting the things that you want into your life. And the thing is, you've been doing so well because I can see that you have been manifesting this person coming in and expressing how they feel, but you're having a wobble. You are having a wobble right now and I need you to snap the fuck out of it. Okay, oh, I was not going to swear, but there we go. That's how passionate I am about it. Ah, that's how passionate, hold on. Even the cards are realizing how passionate I am about it. So yeah, this is about not giving in, not giving in to that negative voice in your head. This is about learning with the Page of Pentacles here. You're very much so focused on the material aspect of this connection right now, rather than the emotional and spiritual aspect. And that's what I want you to dive more into. Um, there is a sense of just being very, so, very stuck in the 3D right now, and you ain't going to manifest from your current reality. That That's purely how it is. This is about looking ahead. This is about moving forward, creating that vision of what it is that you are trying to bring into your life and believing that it's already here. Not focusing on the current reality, but essentially focusing on how would you feel if this was already in your in your life, rather than thinking of it as something far ahead. And we do have heavy earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Capricorn in particular, coming through very heavily here in this reading. What else have we got? Anything else to add? And listen, remember that you don't have to do everything alone. You might feel like you're doing everything alone, but once again, that's the very kind of 3D perspective. Um, you are very independent, okay? I get that. However, teamwork makes the dream work. Work with your spirit guides right now. It's like you're shutting everyone out, including your spirit guides. You may be shutting like friends out, family out, whoever. But the thing is, there's two sides to this. One side is yes, shut out anyone that is not in alignment with what you're trying to manifest. Because yes, some people will think you're delusional. Some people will think you're crazy. But focus on what it is that you feel, okay? Rather than listening to other people's opinions, because th that's just that. Other people's opinions are just their opinions. It's none of your business. So focus on what it is that you want, because you are heading towards a reunion. But you got to be the one to believe it, okay? I can't believe it for you. It is going to happen unexpectedly, is what I want you to know. So keep focusing on that dream, keep focusing on that vision, because I feel like you need that reminder today. 